What's up, guys? So, uh, I, I let's let's put it this way: I wanted Liv and Dom to to win this match. And before anybody says anything, I am a bigger Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley fan than I am a Liv and Dom. But I'm enjoying this feud. And if you make Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley so dominant that they can't be beat, the story dies out quickly. Like, if every time they're in the ring together, or every time they have a match, these two end up winning, the story's over before it even gets a chance to get going. Like, it's going to die out quickly. So, this is definitely leading to Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan at Bad Blood, and Finn Balor versus Damian Priest at Bad Blood. And I'm assuming Dominic Mysterio will be uh, ringside for both matches. So, uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Uh, more than likely, Rhea Ripley wins at Bad Blood, and Finn Balor wins at Bad Blood. That's what needs to happen if you're going to keep this story going. If you have Rhea go in and win the title, and Damian go in and beat Finn, you're, you're killing the story. You're just, you're making the story unbelievable. Like, make it a little bit believable. Have one of them lose at Bad Blood. And I don't even care if Rhea loses at Bad Blood. Just one of the two of them have to lose. And we'll see how it plays out. Like I, like I said, I'm a big fan of Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. Like, I'm, I'm okay with them winning. I just think it would have been better story-wise for Liv and Dom to win. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe Triple H has got a swerve or something coming because his storytelling is so different than Vince McMahon's storytelling was. So maybe he has a plan. Maybe he has something that uh, he's going to do. We'll see how Raw goes. Because it's definitely leading to Rhea versus Liv for the title at Bad Blood. Uh, probably be some type of gimmick match. But we'll see. We'll see. Like, comment, and share. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.